Hi everybody, I am the founder of uh, this page and movement. Well, actually it's best definable as a charity since I am uh, taking funds and uh, helping bring in this cause to protect the rights of men from crazy gender terrorists. What brought me there? I am Alessandra Cantini, I am an actress. In 2010, in fact, I had a very nice role into a film that was almost awarded an Oscar as a, a foreign film. Then I went into study during these five years of studying, where I got a bachelor degree in communication, media and journalism, and a master degree in international relationships. I did politics just for Silvio Berlusconi, actually, because I was called in his party. And um, then uh, in this sabbatical year, I was wondering, uh, what do I really want to do when I'm when I am big, when I'm, when I'm older? And uh, I was very happy, actually, to be a wife. In fact, I was organizing uh, my wedding. But then uh, something went wrong, and was dying, and uh, my would-be mother-in-law said, hey, you must do something now. I got extremely offended because, I mean, <laughs> for me, this is quite enough a job, or at least it is her job, since, uh, her, uh, since uh, she decided to be behind her family and her husband. So uh, I was um, really annoyed, and I went back to Italy, and uh, seeing uh, my aunt dying, my father is now dying at 93. After a lifetime being uh, supportive to her man, an artist, and uh, always caring about their beauty and the pleasures of life, so, here there is something wrong. They want, the society itself doesn't want us to be, uh, to be women anymore. Society wants us to work, and there are quotas provided for women, which is a discrimination in itself. Uh, we must uh, respect women who just decide to be women, you know, that's, that's it. If we want to be behind a great man, we must be great women, you know. It's not a sexist comment. This is the reality, okay? There are men and women. This is a certainty, like the law of gravity, like the night and the day, uh, like relativity itself, because Einstein made the formula E, it's equal to mass per energy C at the second power. But then we can't not relativize everything, can we? How can we relativize the genders? It's, it's something to proclaim the rights, of the equality of the rights, uh, because of the, which is, of course, fair. But once we got them from the first wave of feminism, and, uh, and after we liberated the uh, sexual rights of going out, and the contraception was there, and the women... Uh, would have sex as much as men without risking to be pregnant at all. After we got this, what is the point in proclaiming gender equality? This is crazy. And it's all done for women, you know? Now there are also sexual robots that uh, can, uh, that will be programmed for uh, having perfect <laughs> sexual encounters with women. And uh, they will be programmed on their G-spots, and uh, they will be unfathomable, I mean, of course, why a woman would ever want to be with a man if <laughs> she can work like him, having kids uh, into a sperm viral, uh, uh, having kids thanks to us for, from sperm donations, and uh, she doesn't have to clean or do anything, doesn't have anybody to ask, hey, I would really need your support. This is so individualistic and disgusting. But actually, it's not individualistic because it it would like everything to go on the same level. But if uh, women have uh, robots, men, who do they have? They still need support to be great men. And this is a form of communism in the sense that the, if uh, we put the genders on the same level, there will, there will be no individualism and uh, most of all there will be no sexuality. Can you imagine a world without sexuality? Animals still have it. And uh, for this, there are also polygamous that think about procreation. We don't. We have also morals restricting us uh, doing certain things. And uh, if a man go and cheat on his wife, it's his fault and he risks being divorced and ruined. It's all really, really disgusting and anti, anti.
freedom and uh, equalitarianism. Men are the true victims in this, and uh, we assist of this case, especially since the Me Too movement started making this cause also retroactive. 20 years later, one ex heroine uh, addict goes and says, Hey, you know, I obtained a role in this film because uh, I shocked Mr. Weinstein. Uh, no, actually, not sorry, sorry. He had uh, Kunilingus on her. She said, Wow, this is prostitution. I mean, do it. You obtain, she obtained a role, she obtained her millions. You know what does she want more? Okay, a prostitute, which uh, is, and by the way, the oldest uh, work of a woman, a prostitute brings pleasure. She's paid, and everything ends up there. We men are respected, they're happy, and uh, they're fine. I think it might be, prostitution might be the first and the last job, actually, in this world, if we keep on this way. At least I am turning into a prostitute for certain if uh, the genders are uh, reduced, uh, reduced to this. Because uh, I want a man taking care of me. So that's why I say every proper woman is to an extent a prostitute. Because I think my job is enough of appeasing him, pushing him to be his best, and uh, uh, bringing kids to this world. They are in my womb, not in his. It never happened. I don't, I don't think that extra can have babies anyway. But anyway, they're not women. This is all freaking. So please support the cause. We must bring it to the highest, uh, to the highest places, and um, gain some rights for men who are effectively abused. This is the first of uh, my videos. There will be all, also in Italian, no, no, in uh, several languages. But uh, follow this cause. Invite the people uh, to follow this, and um, let's rock, or at least let's bring Venus on art and have pleasure. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you.